Good morning, Hamilton. We are so happy you are here on Tuesday, October 25th. It's going to be a wonderful day of working hard and being kind. We have a lot of amazing things planned for, the, for today and this week, and it's just gonna be a, a great day here at Hamilton. Quick reminder, our vocabulary word is thesis. And remember, thesis is when you use the question or prompt and you clearly state the main ideas. And I was talking to Ms. Moyer and she said that a really good thing to remember whenever we're using a thesis statement when we're writing an essay is it's kind of like that one sentence answer to the prompt. In fourth and fifth grade, and even in third grade, you can write one, two, three, four, up to five paragraphs to answer a prompt. The thesis is the one sentence answer. It's that snapshot that tells you the main point of what you're trying to communicate. All right, our core essential is grit. And I have something that's pretty cool to read about grit kind of combines grit with growth mindset. So let's listen to this. So Carol Dweck was the author of Mindset, and she talks a lot about how growth mindset is connected to grit. Dweck wrote that individuals with growth mindsets are more resilient, so that means they keep going, and they tend to push through struggle because they believe that hard work is part of the process. They have grit because they refuse to give up when life gets hard. They understand that making mistakes or failure is not a permanent thing. It's like the little engine that could, they keep on going. So when we have grit and when we have a growth mindset, it actually makes it a lot easier to continue to push forward and to try to do things even when they get hard. Very, very interesting stuff. We don't have any birthdays to announce today, but I do want to announce that this upcoming Friday, we have our fall parties. We have a spirit day, we're doing fall colors. So come to school in your favorite fall colors. We're not doing costumes at school. We had our opportunity to do costumes at Trunk or Tree. But on Friday, we'll be doing our Fall Colors Day and we'll have our class parties. Class parties start in the afternoon on Friday. It is not a whole day event. It's just for a little bit of the afternoon. We're still going to have a good day of learning before then. But I hope you're thinking this week, am I showing grit and trying my best on my work especially considering that party's coming up. Do I wanna be showing my teachers I can do the right thing? Especially since we're going to be doing something fun on Friday. That would be pretty, pretty cool to see. Also on Friday, we're going to be passing out awards. So we're doing our monthly awards where someone gets an award for kindness, someone gets an award for working hard, and someone gets an award for our core essential, which is grit. Maybe that's you. This is kind of your last chance to show your teachers you deserve one of those awards and in specials class. That's one of your last chances to show your specials teachers that you deserve. Your whole class deserves this award. All right, remember that we have Ms. Lopez who started with us. She is going to be one of the principals here when Ms. Mintines goes out to stay home with her baby. Ms. Mintines is still here today, it's her last day. So if you see her, make sure you say good luck. Good luck with the baby, we're so excited for you. We'll miss you and she'll be back. Okay, she'll be back after she gets to spend some time with her baby. But we have Ms. Lopez in the meantime, and we're happy she's here as well. All right, Hamilton, I hope you have a wonderful day of working hard and being kind. Remember, you can do it. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. 